In this video we're going to be looking at finding the mirror line whenever a reflection has been done for you. Okay. Before you look at this video I'd recommend watching uh, three other videos. One is one called x equals graphs, so like graphs like this, x equals 3. Uh, another video I'd watch is y equals graphs, so making sure that you know how to draw a graph like y equals 2. And then also uh, drawing straight line graphs, okay, or drawing linear graphs. And also you need to know how to draw the graph y equals x and y equals minus x. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick recap of these now. Okay, so if you were drawing the graph x equals 3, okay, you'd have your x and y axis, like so. Because x equals 3, it means all the horizontal positions are 3, so that means that they would go in a straight line through 3 on the x-axis. So that line there is x equals 3. The graph y equals 2, well, if you've got your x and your y-axis, it would go through 2 on the y-axis. So it's saying that all the heights are 2, so it would be a horizontal line going through 2 on the y-axis, and then there would be y equals 2. y equals x, well, y equals x looks like this. Remember, that's the graph where all the x coordinates are the same as the y coordinates, like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and so on. So you need to know what that graph looks like, y equals x, and also the graph y equals minus x. So y equals minus x goes down like so, and it's where all the heights are the same as the minus x value. So in other words, if the x value is 1, the height's minus 1. If the x value is 2, the height's minus 2. So it goes down, it goes down like so. In a GCSE question, um, it'll either be... Whenever they ask you to find the mirror line, the equation of the mirror line, it's going to be probably one of these four types of graphs. X equals a number, Y equals a number, so either a vertical line or a horizontal line. Or it's either going to be one of these two diagonal graphs, okay? And um, the and a GCSE question, it wouldn't give you another type of graph. It would just be one of these two different types. Okay, let's have a look at some questions. Okay, so here's a typical question. It would give you an object and an image. It would say that shape A has been reflected to shape B um, in a given in a certain mirror line, and it would ask you to locate where the mirror line would be. Okay, now to find the mirror line, what you, I would do is I would choose two of the vertices, so corresponding vertices. So, for instance, this one goes to this one. So the mirror line will be in the middle of those two. So the mirror line is going to go through this point here. Okay. For instance, this point and this point, the mirror line again would go through the middle, so the mirror line would be going through here. So the mirror line would be the horizontal line going like so. I'm just going to draw it. That's where the mirror line would be. As for its equation, because it goes through the y-axis at minus 1, the equation for it would be y equals minus 1. Okay? Okay, here's another question. It's asked us to find where the mirror line would be. Actually, looking at it, you can also see that the mirror line's already there. The y-axis. See that the y-axis is in the middle of the two, the object and the image. So therefore, the y-axis is the mirror line. It would look like, if you were to draw the mirror line, it would look like this, sir. And you could either state this equation in one of two ways. You could either say that it's the y-axis, the y-axis. Or you could say that it's x equals 0 because all the horizontal positions are 0 and it's just the heights that are changing. I'd probably say the y-axis myself. Okay, this time it's not an x equals graph or a y equals a number graph because it would um, it hasn't been the a hasn't been flipped over uh, vertically or horizontally. This time it's a diagonal line. Now, as I said, there's only usually two graphs they will or two straight line equations that they would use whenever they're reflecting it diagonally. It would be either the y equals x graph or the y equals minus x graph. Okay, now it's clearly not the y equals minus x graph because if it was reflected this way, the shape would flip over that way. It's actually been flipped over from here to here, reflected from here across to here. So as you can see, it's gonna be oh sorry, it's gonna be the y equals x graph like so. Okay, so let's draw that mirror line on. There you go, that's the mirror line, the graph y equals x. Okay, and finally, let's have a look at a typical exam question. So here we've got a question, and it's drawn the object for you, t, and it says, the triangle t is reflected to form a new triangle, s. The coordinates of s are, and let's plot them, minus 4, 4, minus 3, 3, and minus 4, 1. Okay, so let's join those up. And it asks us to find right the equation of the mirror line. So 
So as you can see, it's been reflected with a vertical mirror line, and the mirror line is going to be in the middle of the corresponding uh, vertices. So if we choose this one and this one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six across. So if we go three across, one, two, three, that should be where the mirror line is. And from this point to this point, it's one, two, three, four across. If we go two across, one, two, good, it lines up. And finally, this one, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six across, so one, two, three. And as you can see, the mirror line clearly goes through here. Okay, so that's the mirror line. It didn't ask us to draw it, it said to uh, work out the equation. So it goes through the x-axis at minus one, so the equation is x equals minus one. So that's the mirror line.